it's information that might help a lot of us survive. It may help you survive. It may get somebody that's not really into how we think. It might get them thinking a little bit. Or they might just say, I'm going to do what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try that method because, you know, this woman has been, this crazy woman talking in her woodshed has done it for a long time. And if it works for her, then then maybe I'll give it a try. Maybe I'll do a sample plot in my garden. Welcome back, folks. It's, uh, it's a little chilly out today. But I want to explain something that I probably should have a while back. Uh, when I first moved here off-grid, I had a lot of people ask me if I was going to, to do a blog. And I said, nah, no, but I'll do a, I'll do a camp page on how I live on Facebook and I will, you know, show pictures of this and that. And so that gained, gained a little bit of momentum there. And I was just, this was back when the world was a whole lot better off than it is now. All right. So I would take pictures of and talk about my garden and, and the birds and how much I would can in a day and, and all of that. So I wasn't considered a prepper back then, okay? Even a practical prepper. I was just living the way that let most homesteaders do, right? You know, I'm not only a homesteader, I'm off-grid, and I live semi-primitively. I don't have running water. I don't have electric. So, you know, that gravitated a lot of people to to my page, and they like to see my progress and and all of that. So, when I first started moving here, I just was telling my everyday life, okay? When I got birds, I told how many and how many babies come off. And, and then the world started going to hell, right? It just started going to hell. So I'm like, you know, I got to be, got to be a little more careful of what I say and what I show. And... Because then I started getting, well, if the shit ever hit the fan, I'm coming to your place. and So that's how that all started. And I also want to explain that I'm not the only one that lives here. I call this camp road, it's, it's a driveway. But it's a long driveway. And I call it the camp road because there are five houses on this road. And even though we're all family, we all have different people coming to our house. So, you know, being the first house on the, on the camp road, which is right here, you know, people go by my house as during the pandemic, there was, you know, a lot of house deliveries, right? People ordered online and had it delivered right to their house. So then I had the UPS, FedEx, I had all these people coming up my, by my driveway delivering what goods people needed they all went by my place while well, i free ranged my birds so you know when the ups track or the fedex track or somebody going to visit somebody up the road here uh a lot of times they have to stop because my birds are in the road i could tell you a lot of stories about the fedex guy and the guinea <laughs> i could tell you some of the <laughs> Some of the FedEx guys don't mind the guinea flying on top of their vehicle. Others do. So, so anyway, you know, I'm not the only one that lives in here. And people go by my place and my birds are out. So people know I have birds. They, have, they know I have birds. So, you know, I'm not going to put up a 10-foot fence. You know, a privacy fence. I'm just not going to do that. So anybody that goes by here visiting any other house or dropping anything off at anybody else's house, they're going to see my birds, folks. And if they come by and I'm always out in the garden or I'm, or I'm outside canning, they're going to they're gonna know that I'm 
eating the food that I grow, hopefully, and preserving it. So I just want to make that clear that I'm not going out announcing everything, and I have not gone out and announced everything. I did way back in the beginning because, you know, everybody thought off-grid homesteading was cool, and, and there's a lot of there's a lot of interest in that area, but back when I was doing that, it was kind of harmless to do that, folks, okay? It was kind of harmless to do that. But now the world's gone to hell, so now it's, now it's pretty significant. So I'm, I'm, I'm very careful. What I am going to do, though, because, like I said, I am a, I'm a homesteader. I'm a small homesteader, and... You know, if things ever got really, really bad, you folks are going to have to learn how to grow your own food. You're going to have to know how to raise your animals. You're going to have to know how to survive. So, you know, that means gardening. That means learning how to compost if you can't get fertilizer. I have a lot of secret formulas that I have developed over the years. And I could, I could do e-books. I could write books. I could sell my information. But I believe that information should be free. Schooling, education should be free, period. Okay? You shouldn't have to pay to learn something. So, you know, I've already done all the hard work. I know what works for me. I may not know the, the milligrams and micrograms and all the, all the nitty-gritty scientific names. Okay? But I know what works. And I know what will help a lot of you. So we're all in this together. So... If I post something that somebody may get somebody ahead, may help somebody down the road, take notes, take notes. Share it on your Instagram, share it on your Facebook, share it however you want to. Get the word out there and, you know, I'll try to keep shit hit the fan out of it. I will, I will. Cause I... But anyway, it's information that might help. A lot of us survive. It may help you survive. It may get somebody that's not really into how we think. It might get them thinking a little bit. Or they might just say, I'm going to do what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try that method because, you know, this woman's been, this crazy woman talking in a woodshed has done it for a long time. And if it works for her, and then, then maybe I'll give it a try. Maybe I'll do a sample plot in my garden. So let's help. I'm trying to help y'all. Maybe y'all can help somebody else. I really like to help people. And all my life I've been in the helping profession. Okay, I just like to help people. Help people get ahead. So if I can share what I what I know, I, I would like to do that. So it's not about the numbers. So I'm not asking you to share to get my numbers up, subscribe. I'm not just not doing that, okay? I want to help people, and I want to help you help people. And if they're not going to prepare by, by stocking up food in the house, maybe you can help them prepare by learning how to grow something that will probably help them, okay, when it's needed. So anyway, thank you very much. I've got a lot to do. And have a good day.